Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, should you like the essence of today's video or any other video that I post on the channel, I ask that you subscribe to the channel. I'd be more than happy to have you become part of my internet family. If you are an oldie but a goodie, put it in the comments. Not now, but right now, an oldie but a goodie. So I am starting the vlog, the vlog off in the car because I got a couple of gift cards that I got from for Christmas and I wanna go spend them. So that's what we're about to do. I've got several gift cards and I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna go to all the stores today. But I'm gonna definitely try my best to hit at least two, which is Ulta and Bath and Body Works. And then I've got a taste for some oxtails. So I might stop and treat myself to some Din Din while I'm out in these streets of America that the good Lord has allowed us to see. And I realized that we have not started off the last two vlogs in prayer. And if you are new to the channel, um, we, we pray over here. We talk about God. We, we give God reverence over here. Um, and if that's something that you're interested in, then this is definitely going to be the vibe for you. So let's hold, hold your hand out. So I can't close my eyes, but you can definitely close your eyes if you ain't driving. And we're going to say a quick word of prayer. God, we thank you for life, health, and strength. God, we thank you for allowing us to see another day on this earth. God, we ask that you uh, prepare the way for us. God, we ask that you make every crooked path straight. God, anything that is not of you, God, we ask that you remove it out of our lives. God, remove us from us so that you will get the glory out of our lives, Jesus. Less of us and more of you, God. Continue to let our light shine before other people, other men, so that they make it see our good works God we want to say thank you for your grace God we want to say thank you for your new mercies God we want to see your glory God we want to say thank you for the many doors that you have opened thank you for the doors that you have closed thank you in advance for what you're about to do in our lives Jesus and God we just want to say thank you Jesus for your love I just for your amazing love God thank you not for what you've done Jesus not for for what you've done in our lives. But God, we just want to say thank you and we praise you for who you are. God, we say thank you. Thank you. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get our little day started for today. And wherever the wind may blow, then that is what God has, or God has ordained for us to do. And we ask that God order, ordain our steps, order our thoughts, and order our day. And we want to be aligned with you, Jesus. All right, guys. All right. So I'm going to call y'all back when we get to our first stop for the day. Um, can I get a medium Coke? Uh, no, a medium Sprite with a medium fry. Can I get a medium Sprite with a medium fry? Yes, please. Can you be able to get you That'll be all. All right, all right, thank you. First stop is a McDonald's French fries. I love a cute snack. And I think I got just enough cash for it too. I think, I hope so. Thank you, you too. So 
what are y'all doing today? I'm pretty sure by the time you guys are looking at this footage, it's not the current day, but just put it in the comments. Let me know what are you doing today? What are you eating today? Cause girl, I wanna know what you eating. Did you cook today? And today is Sunday, January the 7th. So, and it's 4.52 PM, so yeah. So put it in the comments, let me know what are you cooking today? Did you cook? Did you go out to eat, girl? What are you doing? I know the month of January is normally the month that we kind of like go in hibernation mode. We ain't really too much outside. Outside, we're normally like in in the house, frolicking around, resetting for the year, resetting for the month. But let me know what y'all doing. Hey, thank you. Thank you. They be acting like this gonna come out their check. They, they, they could have filled it to the top. But I say thank you anyway. It's okay. But yeah, so I know at the beginning of the, the year, beginning of the month, we have the tendency of wanting to like do a reset monthly, monthly reset, monthly reset for the year or yearly reset or whatever. So y'all let me know what y'all doing. And like I tell y'all all before, it's not always about me. It's about you guys as well. So I'm interested to know because we cousins, we aunts and uncles and, you know, we family over here. So we like to know what, what's going on. The, what we're going on in your kitchen. What you got going on? Because cuz, sis. I want to know. I want to know, girl, what's going on. So, let me, um, chop on these good old fries and pay attention to this road and then I'm going to call you back when we get to I don't know if I'm going to go to Ulta first or if I'm going to go to Bath and Body Works. One of the two, so. Mm -mm -mm. And they hot. <laughs> now, if they was cold fries, we would have had some problems. But they good and hot. I felt them hot through the bag, baby. All right, so our first stop is going to be Ulta Beauty. Ulta Beauty <laughs> Beauty date so we discover this place i cannot pronounce it i don't know if i'm saying it right but i'm gonna take a shot at it i think it's called mocha nut matcha nut i don't know but they sell boba teas they sell korean style cheese hot dogs i had the guava tea guava black tea at that it was really really good my husband had the strawberry cookie milkshake i believe and then on the screen, you see we had Doritos, Hot Cheetos, the potatoes, as well as the Frosted Flakes, Korean Cheese Dogs. This Korean Cheese Dogs was so good. Um, I highly recommend. It was a 10 out of 10. It was a cute little place, and I definitely will definitely, definitely, definitely go back. And nevertheless, I always enjoy spending time with my husband on this quick lunch date. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye! Now, why every time I want to pick up the camera and talk to y'all, y'all about to die? This battery, I can't call it. 
I can't call it. Okay, so I got y'all rigged up, so hopefully I won't fall. But I'm filming. I'm filming on my phone now. Because my camera went dead. And I've been bringing extra batteries with me. How clever. But anyway, so I came to work half a day today. And I came I rode to uh came to work with my husband at his office. So i my day is done. So I'm just sitting in the car waiting for him to finish his day. And as you guys saw from the previous clips, we went to the place called um Mosquito. I think it's called Mosquito. Mochinut. Mochin M O C H I N U T. But y'all just saw where we just left. And when I say that place was so good, if you've never had a Korean cheese dog before, chef's kiss. I love it. I put a little bit, a bit of lick of a lick of uh, makeup on today. So this is real life. I don't put on makeup every day. So how y'all doing? Hope y'all doing well. Hope you're having an amazing day and i hope that if you're not having an amazing day i hope that it gets better for you and just know that trouble don't last always y'all when i say i'm sitting here about to i'm struggling to trying to stay awake i'm struggling trying to stay awake and i'm sitting here looking at my nails right now like far away you probably can't tell but up close it's time for me to get a feeling but i'm thinking that I'm gonna just take this set off and let my nails rest and probably do like some press-ons for a while until we go on vacation next month. Um, And I actually might not even do press-on nails. I might just wear like my regular nails out for a few weeks until we go on vacation. That's what I'm thinking I might do because they're really sore. And because I type a lot of whatever, I use the, 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 the tip of my finger or the actual nail itself. So while I'm typing on my laptop or whatever, it's like making my fingers kind of sore. So I think it's time for me to go ahead and let this set go and then get, um, whenever it's time for me to go on vacation, I think I'm gonna do some press-ons. And save that, um, save that, save those coins for me getting my nails done until later. That's what I'm gonna do. But anyway, y'all, so I found these freeze-dried candies. These are freeze-dried lemon candies. I found them at the gas station. Y'all see that? I guess you can really see how bad I need to feel it, right? But yeah, so I got a bag. Y'all know this bag was $10. $10 for a bag of freeze-dried candy. I don't know if I should be looking at here or if i should be looking over here at the camera i don't know i haven't really figured out how this camera is set up this is the new camera i think this is the 15 some y'all i don't know i'm just i just is it the 14 or the 15 i don't know what i got y'all but it would between the two i don't know and i, I think I, I feel like i should be looking towards this way at the camera or if i should be looking this way i don't know but y'all know i'm talking to you okay that that's all that matters Yes, the window. 
church wait the lighting is a little bit better this way so i'm walking in church right now so i'll probably show a little bit of church but i'll talk to you guys whenever we get out have a blessed day guys church was so good got a rim of word as always so i'm about to go back to the house take off these shoes then we got a few errands we need to run later on today so let's go all right so i made it back to the his house and i came back to a few packages so I went to the front door and I saw that I got an Amazon package and then I also went to the Nike outlet. It's a new Nike outlet um, in uh, my area and I went there the other day and I went there with the intentions on getting a whole Nike like tracksuit or whatever because I seen a girl here on YouTube. Her name is Nita, Nita something. Um, but she is like she is so beautiful, but I like I follow her on Instagram and I follow her on here on YouTube I think the call is Nita Daniels if I'm not mistaken Nita something But she had a Nike's tracksuit or a Nike sweatsuit and um, they didn't have the Coat in the store, but they did have the pants. So I ended up doing like a order I got the pants when the pants was in the store and then I did an order, a separate order and got the jacket. So the jacket finally came, voila. So this is the the bag that the pants came in, but I want to show you guys what it looks like because I've never had a Nike sweatsuit before. 
and it was kind of pricey on the pricey side, but I wanted it so bad, so I got it. I'm like, you know what? The, the, the year of 2024 is the year of 24 karat gold. is the highest gold and happiness over everything, okay? So whatever makes my heart desires, whatever makes my heart happy, then that's what I'm going to do, okay? So anyway, so I got this Nike hoodie. Well, not a hoodie. It's a tracksuit. But it's, uh, I'm like this, and it's kind of short. It kind of falls kind of like, uh, short on me or whatever, but it's Nike, and this is a size 2X. So this one came, this was, this is the one that, um, they didn't have in the actual store. So I did the store, the order to, I think you order in the store, and then they, you have it shipped to your house, that. So I got the sweatshirt that came... And then I did, I, and I did, I think I did a TikTok when I was shopping in the actual store. So you guys should be following me on TikTok to keep up with like a little bit more quicker than up to date stuff as to what I, what I got going on. But yeah, so I got a pair of the matching pants to go with it and they're wide leg as well. So Got that, and they're like high waisted, so I'm excited to um pair uh, wear this little outfit or whatever. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I got me a wide leg Nike tracksuit, and the pants were so comfortable. I think the pants were 57, I believe. They were on sale. Yeah, I think the pants were on sale for like $56 or $57, the pants. And then I think the jacket was like $60 or $70. Bucks. I can't remember exactly how much they cost. But the pants are a 2X. And then, of course, the jacket is a 2X as well. And y'all know with Nike, Nike is like true to size or whatever. So, I got that. I add that to my collection. Because it is cold, baby. It's cold. And on to my Amazon package. And let's see what we got here. I be ordering so much stuff. And sometimes I forget what I be ordering. And then I'll be like, oh, now I remember. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I figured that's what that was. So, when my kids come home. When my kids go home and they leave, or they leave out of my house, for some strange reason, I can never find my charger to my phone. So I ordered me an extra charger. <coughs> Excuse me, I ordered me an extra charger. I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna just keep this one in my car. And I got me a little um, pack to go with it, and it's just a covering so that I'll know that if it be messed with. So you, you ain't gonna really just come and take this from me. I'll have it labeled. So if you take something, you gonna have to, it's gonna take some time for you to um it's gonna take some time for you to unlabel it. Be your own kids, y'all. Be your own kind. So yeah. So we'll come with this little cord right here so you just take it and it's like it's pink as you guys can see that so you just wrap it around take your time and just wrap it around the actual cord right here and then of course this is the covering for the block and then this goes at the end of each neck the neck of the cord So it's just a cute little way, a decorative way to um, <clears throat> decorate your cord, basically. A good labeling, if you will. <laughs> I thought I heard my kids come in the house. They might have left back out. They be tired. They be doing their own thing. But anyway, so let me see how this goes. So this, okay. When I get this on there, I'll call y'all right back. Alright, so I got this little piece on right here. It's pink. And this 
glittery. So now I'm about to struggle and wrap this around this cord right here. So I'll be back whenever I get this done. So while I'm intertwining these two cords and hooking this up or whatever, I was like, you know what, let me turn the camera on and let me talk to you guys for a minute because I feel like I haven't really talked talk to you guys on the vlog like that. But y'all, I realized that I, I don't know, it's like for the last week or two since we've hit this year, I've like been... <coughs> thinking like oh my god like this is the year I turn 40 and I'm like I know a lot of people be like 40 girl that's 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 young which it is it is very young but it's a milestone year for me okay and this year that I'm turning 40 I said I already gonna make this year a happy year God already told me that last year he made me strong but this year I'm gonna make you happy and y'all, I'm a true firm. I'm a believer of that. That this year, this year is going to be the year that I'm going to be so happy. And I'm claiming that and I'm declaring that. And I want to thank you guys so, so, so much for just um commenting on my last video. We was in the comments last video declaring and decreeing of what our 2024 is gonna look like. We're gonna divorce all Anything that's not serving us purpose, we're going to divorce it. Anything that's causing us set, anything that's not causing us positiveness, we're going to divorce it. And I just really, really appreciate how y'all are have been in the comments and just, you know, just... We, I, I just love the dialogue that we have, and I love the family that I have created over here on this channel or whatever. But um, I was saying all that to say, so the because I'm turning 40 this year, the big 4-0, yes, your girl is turning 40 this year in November. I saw on Je Chelsea's Janae channel, because this is the original, original where I really got the idea from as far as this is concerned. Um, and I believe it to give credit where credit is due. So I actually got the idea from her. But she went and bought a um, an adult piggy bank. And it's just a, a piggy bank where you just basically save all your cash or whatever. Now granted, me and my husband already got like savings account. And we already got like checking and whatever, whatever, whatever. That's like adult stuff. This, this uh, uh, piggy bank that I got right here is just simply play money. It's just simply whatever I want to do for the month of November. I don't know if I'm going to use that to get me... Um, a car. I don't know if I'm going to use that to put, um, I mean, I got so many plans of what, as far as what I want to do for my birthday, um, because I'm turning 40. So I bought this, um, little adult piggy bank right here. It's pink. And I did, I already did a TikTok because I already put money in here or whatever. So I already did me a TikTok on it and I already, um, started putting money on in that box. So, I'm excited to see exactly how much I'm going to be able to save for the next 11 months. And I, like I said, I'm not putting myself like on no limit. Like I got to put $10 every time I get paid. Because sometimes I might have the extra. Sometimes I might not. But whenever I get cash, I'm going to be intentional with my cash. And just put all my cash in there. And, and whatever extra i have on my birthday on my 40th birthday that's gonna be my plan to break the box open so i encourage you to do the same thing if you're trying to like get in the habit of saving more if you're trying to get in the habit of just you know spending more wisely and trying to get in the habit of saving i suggest highly recommend you getting you like a piggy bank like that and just put money into the side or whatever and i mean if you think about it Think about how many times we eat, eat eat out. Think about how many times we spend unnecessary money that we really could be saving. Think about how many times we go get our nails done. Think about how many times we go out to eat. Think about how many times we buy ourselves unnecessary stuff. So the money that we buy unnecessarily unnecessary stuff, I'm gonna take some of some, not all, but some, because <laughs> God ain't through with me yet. But I'm going to take most of the cash or some of my cash and I'm going to just start putting it in that little piggy bank. And when it's time to celebrate for my 40th, 
Baby, we're going to have some cash to splurge on. And I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And that's the plan. That's the plan so far, y'all. But anyways, and um, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <sighs> so I think I'm about to chill for the rest of the day. I was going to um, go out and go to Costco. I do need to go to Costco, but I think I'll save that for tomorrow for MLK. Because I'm actually... um. Yeah, I think I'm gonna save that. So it's not like my kids downstairs. My kids came home for the holidays since they're out of school tomorrow. And they're here. And I think I smell them. I thought I said it. I thought I overheard them saying they was going to buy some shrimp and some grits and some lobster. So if that's what they're cooking, then <laughs> fix me a plate. Mine is the grits. Just send me some shrimp and some lobster. Okay. I'll eat that. You need to take a bath. Y'all, my little fur baby, she be all up. She she, she can't. Y'all already know that dog is not my dog. I, we got the dog for the kids. But the way she be up under me, you would have thought. You would think she's my dog. You would think that, that that dog came out my canal the way she be up under me. Yeah, that dog be up under me so bad. But anyway, I'm about to finish doing this. And if anything interesting happened between now and then, I'll call y'all back and let y'all know. But I don't think it is. I'm not sure exactly how much footage I got on this vlog. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I enjoy talking to you guys in the comment section. Thank y'all for watching my last video. Thank y'all for watching the video before that about the divorce. I know a lot of people thought that when I said divorce, people automatically assume that you're talking about your spouse. No, baby, me and me and be smooth. We good. We good over here. Okay? And I noticed that first video got a lot of views because they saw the big viewer. You know, it's, it's amazing how drama sells. They think their first first thing they saw was divorce and they automatically think that is marriage. Well, baby, no. No. Me and Beast Move is good over here. I'm divorcing. Well, y'all just go back and look at the video if you haven't looked at the video and you'll see what I'm saying. Divorce is not always uh, cutting ties with a person. It's always, it's sometimes, it's cutting ties with traits. Cutting ties with negativity. It's cutting ties with Anything that does not serve your purpose, cutting ties, that's what divorce means. So that's uh, the gist of that. So, yeah. So, but anyways, so when you hear me talking about the D word, it's it's not with me and hubby, honey, because me and hubby good over here. Our mar we, we good over here, okay? We already said it in our vows. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So. If you came over here looking for that type, then you ain't you on the wrong channel, baby. All right. And even if we if, even if we did decide to go our separate ways, it would not be on the internet. Okay. Y'all would be the last to know. I'm just saying, cause in my business ain't everybody else's business, especially something like that. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. But anyway, I'm about to end this, intro, finish intertwining this. And if anything interesting comes on between, anything interesting happens between now and then, I will definitely give you guys a call back because it's going to take me a little minute. I've got this much more to go with the core. And, um, yeah, guys, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you become part of my internet family. We are cousins, aunts. Sisters, little sis, big sis, whatever you want to call it, y'all. We are family over here, and that's the way we're going. That's the way we're going to roll, okay? Because that's how we roll. How we roll. Hey. <laughs>
burning something? Huh? Smell like somebody burning something. Somebody burning that? Yeah. Oh, it's just this. What? I'm washing this. I'm not washing this. Uh oh. What seasoning can take away from a garlicky? Garlicky? You don't want garlicky? He doesn't like it. Try it. Try it. I like it. Try it. Tell people, hey, you ain't seen them. That you ain't, they ain't seen you in forever. Not forever. What's up? Hey, little Lele. Hey. Mm. What, 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 what's what it taste? Get her. Get her. Get out the kitchen. Go. Yeah, she, she got gas bags. She put it outside? Yeah. Okay. What is this? Ain't no grits in here, is it? No. What are the grits at? We're about to make grits. <laughs> oh, the bacon and the shrimp look good. This one, that's hers. Oh, because she, cause you don't like the boil. That look like it. Get out of the kitchen! It look like more than um, shrimp in there. It's bacon, mushrooms, onion, green pepper, and shrimp and lobster. All that? Mm-hmm. Might be hot. Mm, that's good. She, you see, it's good. You just pick it. a lot of garlic. I like it like that. Ain't nothing garlic about that. That's good. <laughs> Put me some. I want some. Okay. Put me some to the side. I don't okay. eat grits though. Okay. I just want a little bit. Y'all yeah, show this some rich college kids. Which, let me see your lobster. <laughs> you know them cook for like six minutes. Should I make, oh, should I make the Whatever it is you gave her. That's it. Mm. It's good. You say you got the recipe off of TikTok? Mm -hmm. TikTok. TikTok message shop. It's good. You said what's in here again? It's mushrooms, green pepper, onions, chicken broth, or not chicken broth, beef broth, heavy whipping cream, shrimp, bacon, and lobster. Mmm. It's good. Thank you. Well, she's smart and she can cook, Terrence. <laughs> you can't cook. Yes, I can. Boy, you better keep up. He has no faith. Hmm? I said he has no faith. Yes, I do. I'm learning. This is a process. Don't just wake up and know how to cook. I'll teach her. TikTok is teaching me how to cook. She just be lying so bad. <laughs> Here's what I need you to do.